Hey everyone, so I just wanted to do a general update on how everything is going in my life. So I wrote down a couple of little points that I wanted to cover. So the first thing I want to just check off my list here is yesterday I went to my general practitioner, my family doctor, whatever you want to call it, and um, I had um, just a general appointment to like, you know, get checked up on, see how I was feeling on the new medication, how everything was doing basically, and everything went well, and um, I asked him about um, the medical alert bracelet, and he actually had no idea, and then it kind of struck me, like, while I was sitting there, and I remembered that um, this drug that I'm on is also used for like epilepsy or seizures so I asked him if maybe that was the reason why it was written on like the information sheet that the pharmacy gave me and he said that was probably the reason why so I was like okay so I don't need to wear a medical alert bracelet which is awesome because I really didn't want to have to do that so that's one thing I didn't have to worry about so, um, another thing I asked him while I was there was about the blood tests and how, um, often that we were going to have to do that. And, um, he said that I could go and get one done right away. Um, I'm lucky enough where there's like a blood lab, like literally right next door to where my doctor's office is. So it's pretty convenient to just do it while you're there. So he gave me the paperwork for that. I went in and did my blood work and um, today the doctor's office called me back and they said that the levels of um, the Valporic acid, the, the medication I'm taking, um, in my blood is low. So I don't know if that means that he wants to increase my medication dosage already or what the case may be, maybe, um, take like a, like a, a time released version or something, but, um, I'm, I don't get to see him until after the holidays again, so, um, I have to make an appointment for, like, the first thing in January to go see what that is about, so that is my, uh, update with the doctor and the blood work and the medical alert bracelet so and I'm, and the, I'm not sure if the dosage is going to be increased um also you may have noticed if you've been following my channel I usually post a video every single day and I think yesterday I didn't post a video because our car broke down and uh yeah normally that would send me into complete mania mode, but I actually handled it, I think, pretty damn well for, um, the situation. And there was, uh, an incident a few days ago where we actually tried to take the car out, and it was raining pretty hard, and we literally got maybe a couple of driveways down our street, away from our house, and the car stalled, and we had to, like, push the car back to our house in the pouring rain and normally that would send me off the deep end too but I handled that situation pretty pretty decently as well so I was pretty happy about that but anyway today we got the car fixed hooray so we have our car back and we could finish our shopping and um I still have <laughs> I think two people left on my Christmas list, but I am almost done, and I am actually feeling really good about Christmas, and um, just like, I kind of am feeling now that I just like want to get it out of the way, <laughs> kind of, and I didn't just get a move on. Um, then today, um, while we were shopping, I was looking for a present for my mom and before my mom had her stroke like she 
had so many collections of different things and she was just like an easy person to buy for you know what I mean like she you could walk into pretty much any store and you'd find something and you know she would like absolutely love it and when I mean like absolutely love it my mom was like completely over emotional when it came to gifts like you would give her like say a, a Tibetan statue or something she really liked Tibetan art and statues and things like that and uh, Chinese art and stuff like that and you would give her something like that and she would literally like break down crying about it so um now that she's had her stroke she doesn't have a lot of those um hobbies and passions and things like that anymore so I found it very hard to figure out what to get her and halfway through um like shopping I just like kind of started crying because I was like I, I don't know, I just felt upset that I was having such a hard time finding a present for my mom. Like, I was like, this is, feels wrong. I should be able to figure out something to get her, no matter what. And, uh, it's like, it's like I don't know her anymore, almost, and so I had, like, a little miniature breakdown about that, and... I sometimes I feel like an asshole about it because, you know, I have friends, um, I have a friend this year even that lost her dad, uh, a few months ago, so obviously Christmas this year is gonna suck for her, and I still have my mom, but it's not, I don't know, I like to say it's a different version of my mom. So I don't know, I, I just feel like an asshole sometimes when I have feelings like that because I know there's people that have actually really lost their parents and don't have them at all anymore and I should be thankful that I still have even a small piece of her but it's just hard sometimes, a lot of the time, all of the time. <laughs> and um, so yeah, I, I had a little meltdown, but it wasn't anything near what I normally have. Um, and just lately, while I've been at home, uh, my kid, I'm pretty sure, is getting sick, so she's been pretty upset and unbearable the last couple of days, and doesn't want to eat much, and uh, it's been stressing me out a bit, but, um, I'm trying not to get impatient with her or anything, and this medication is really helping with that. And I've been obsessively cleaning my house, like, everything, every baseboard, every wall, every square inch of this place is going to be wiped down eventually. So, um, that's my update, I guess. I have, um, another video that I have planned. I'm not sure if I'm going to have time to get around to it or not tonight, but um, it's going to be on um, cognitive distortions. Basically, if you don't know what a cognitive distortion is, it's basically a way that your mind convinces you that something is true when it's not. So. Um, there's like 15 common co cognitive distortions that um, a lot of people with mental illness and without mental illness can um, can go through. So I wanted to cover those. So that's what my, my, my next video is going to be about. So stay tuned for that. And um, thank you to all of my subscribers. I think I hit 50 today. So that's a awesome goal for me. And um, I'm really happy about that, and until next time, just remember that you are strong and never alone.